Hello, friends. Has this ever happened to you? Ah, uh, Jordan, can you please do a reading? Sure. What's wrong? I thought you were half Persian. It was really scary, okay? Welcome to What's That Word, where we take tricky and wonderful words from the Baha'i writings and we explain them. What's that word again? because this is episode two. This evening, we'll be looking at five different words from the Baha'i writings, and we'll be hoping that you're watching this video in the evening. <laughs> I made a joke. I'm gonna buy myself something nice. Numero uno, vesture. How to pronounce vesture? Vesture. Vesture. Look at us all learning together. Vesture is a fancy word for clothing or way of dress. You can remember it by thinking of a vest. Look at this vest. It's the best because it matches. Yeah! Yeah, okay. A vest is a type of vesture. Robe the tabernacles of divine unity with the vesture of holiness. Okay. But what's a tabernacle? Exactly. Number two. Tabernacle. Tabernacle is nothing to do with a table or an ankle. Even my socks match. In this sense, a tabernacle is similar to the biblical meaning, a tent or a portable dwelling. It's a place for people to meet in unity. The tabernacle of unity hath been raised. Number three, quietude. Shh, the state of being quiet or tranquil. The source of inner quietude for all humankind. Hmm, imagine that. All of humanity just relaxing, tranquil, in a state of quietude. I'd like that. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that we can just put tued on the end of a word to make it fancy? Okay. Number fortitude. Get it? Fortitude. Number four. I made it fancy. What? Fortitude is too easy. Okay. How about grandiloquence? No. Providence. Providence. In a way, providence comes from providing what God is providing for us. We have the assurance of his loving providence, or his hand of providence. Number five, exhort. Like eggs, ort. Egg. Is to strongly encourage or persuade someone to do something. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't drop the egg. Encourage and exhort the believers. Exhort the friends of God. Anywho, ow. That's all for this episode of What's That Word? Again. Until next time, please feel free to head over to the Baha'i Blog YouTube channel, check out the other episodes, and I exhort you to hit subscribe. You know what that means? You know what I mean? Ciao! I'm not gonna say it in Persian this time. <laughs>